guys. Well, it's actually Thursday today when I'm filming this, but you guys will be seeing this on Friday. I am taking Camden to his three-year doctor appointment. He actually turned three like almost a month ago, but I just completely forgot about this appointment. So I'm obviously not in labor yet. Quentin is still in my belly. <laughs> We're still very pregnant, but yeah, we're gonna go to Camden's three-year doctor appointment. And then I think later I am gonna head over to DSW because I showed you guys those like adorable Nike sneakers that I got in my last vlog. And unfortunately, they are a little too small. So I got a six and a half, which is my normal size, but they're like a little snug. And I don't know if it's because my feet are just swollen because I'm super pregnant or if they just are too small and they run small. So I'm gonna go back to the store today and try and see if I can find like a bigger size and if it fits or what. So anyway, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Baby Watch vlog. You guys, I really thought I would be in labor already. <laughs> and I'm really starting to think that I'm just not going to be until my due date. I mean, three centimeters dilated, 70% effaced. <sighs> I don't know I thought we'd be kind of progressing a little faster at this point but honestly I feel like great today like I don't feel sluggish or like ridiculously tired or like crampy or anything like I feel fine um, and that just makes me think that like there's no need for me to be induced like I don't want to be a baby about it and just be like oh I just want this baby out like let me get the baby out like if I don't have like a legit reason to get him out then I don't think I'm gonna go through with the induction. Um, I'm still gonna keep the appointment in place just because my doctor said I can cancel it like up to the day before and it's fine. So I'm gonna leave my appointment for next week. I don't know if I'm gonna go through with it at this point just because I feel fine today. So I don't know if this is like a pregnancy symptom or what, but I had really bad insomnia last night. Like I could not fall asleep for the life of me at all. I had so many things in my mind, mostly labor and delivery was on my mind. Like just envisioning myself in the hospital like giving birth I just kept thinking about it over and over and over and like when it's gonna happen and how it's gonna happen and what's going to happen and I couldn't fall asleep at all and I, I, I didn't even feel like I was very tired um, yeah honey oh I'm talking to the camera you want to say hi to the YouTube camera okay say hi YouTube <laughs> I did want to say I have been having more of the mucus plug situation. Um, I don't know how long that lasts. It, I told you guys that it happened last Monday and Tuesday, like after my cervical check. And then um, it was pretty clear like for the rest of the week, but it started happening again the past couple days. So I don't really even know what that is, but I wanted to update you guys on that because that whole situation is very confusing to me. Like, I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool What did the nurse give you? Let me see Cool, hot pink duck That's really cool Is it like a donut duck? Looks like it has a donut on it You were such a good boy Okay, so I just got these cute little clips in the mail. I ordered them the other day on Amazon, and I think they're so cute. I know that those big, like, 90s clips are back in, which I love. You all know that I'm so into the 90s, so anything that's coming back from the 90s, I'm going to get. But I thought these were really, really pretty. Um, I was also going to get some pearl ones, but I decided to try these out first and see how I like them. They are pretty big. But I think that's kind of like the style. I'll link them down below if you guys are interested. They weren't expensive at all, but I think they're so cute. I especially love the tortoise shell ones. Okay, so I just put them in my hair, you guys, and I have no idea if this is how <laughs> you wear them. I haven't worn clips in my hair in like forever. I mean, they're so cute. I just don't know if I have them in right. So um, let me know. 
but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the belly. I am currently 38 weeks and three days now. You guys are seeing this though when I'm 38 weeks and four days. Um, it's like popping out of all of my shirts and sorry I have a chair in the background right here because I was curling my hair and I cannot stand and curl my hair anymore I have to sit down because I'm so pregnant <laughs> but you guys I think it's gotten even lower since I vlogged the other day like look at that like he's legit gonna fall out okay so I'm kind of liking these clips I think I might have put them in the right way. I don't know. I think they look cute either way. But I know that I've been saying that I really feel like he's coming soon. He's coming soon. And now I feel like maybe he's not coming soon. And I don't know if it's because I've been thinking that he is. But like, I don't know. I thought he would have come out already. And my induction is set for next week. So I'm not sure if I'm going to cancel it or not. We'll see what happens this weekend. And if I even make it to, you know, Monday's appointment. All right, so I just pulled up to DSW. I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna check and see if I can find these babies in a size seven. Uh, I'm still so in love with them, they're so pretty. If not, I'm gonna look around and see if I can find anything else. And I'm hoping, cause I did use a bunch of coupons on these shoes, I'm still able to use those coupons towards like exchanging them for something else, which, I mean, I assume I would be able to. It doesn't make sense that they would be like, nope, you already used them. Sorry. All right, you guys. So I just got out of DSW and I'm kind of bummed because they didn't have my shoes in a size seven. She even checked online and she just said they're completely sold out in size seven, which I feel like when I ordered them in a six and a half, which is my normal size, I feel like there was seven available online. I don't know what happened. But I'm just going to keep checking back for those shoes because I eventually do want to get them again because um, they're just so cute and I love the color. But I ended up exchanging them because I found another pair of shoes that are so freaking adorable and they're literally nothing like the sneakers. So these are like platform leopard shoes. Um, so they're completely different, but I just thought they were so cute. And I've actually been looking for like platform sneakers anyway so I felt like I would just go ahead and get these but how cute are these freaking shoes you guys they are Sam Edelman um, and they have like the soft uh, like furry leopard right here the black laces which I really liked and then they are the espadrilles so I thought these were adorable I tried them on they looked so cute on and they were pretty comfortable too. I did get a size seven, so I would say to size up half a size if you're gonna get them, although my feet just may be super swollen. Anyways, I thought these shoes were adorable, and they do have them at DSW, so I will link them down below for you guys. And if any of you did order those Nike sneakers that I put in my vlog the other day, um, let me know how you like them, because <laughs> I'm just so sad they don't have my size. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna make an iced coffee because I realized I didn't have a coffee today. And I really would love to go to Starbucks, but I have like that new coconut creamer at home that I really like, so I'd rather just go home and make my own iced coffee and save a little bit of money right now. Okay, you know how I was telling you guys this morning that I felt really good? Well, scratch that. It is now 5.15. And I am feeling like I'm getting cramping again. I'm getting tightening and pressure down there. I honestly feel like this belly is so big. Like, look at that. And it's so heavy. Like, even just going up to DSW right now, I was only in there for like, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes walking around. And now I feel dead. <laughs> like, I legit feel like I could fall asleep right now and oh my gosh I'm struggling so whatever I said to you guys this morning yeah that's not true these baby watch vlogs I feel like are all over the place like one minute I'm like oh this baby's gonna come tonight and then the next minute I'm like I don't know I feel like he's probably gonna be another week or so so 
who knows when baby Q really wants to come out, but I'm just letting you guys know that Oh my gosh, I am struggling right now. But if you guys have been following me for a while, you have seen me make these like really yummy chicken tacos. It's like a crock pot dinner. It is probably the easiest thing that I make, literally. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I've showed it on my vlog before, but since I haven't made it in a while, I'm gonna show you guys again. Um, but it literally, like if you have a crock pot, it is so simple and it is delicious. Also, you know it is about to be summertime when you start eating watermelon. And a lot of you guys said to induce labor naturally to go ahead and eat pineapple, but of course I have a watermelon, not a pineapple. But if you have induced your labor with pineapple, let me know down below because I actually think that pineapple is one of the things that helped me get pregnant. Um, if you guys have seen my like how to get pregnant TTC tips video, I talk about pineapple core and how I got pregnant on the cycle of eating pineapple core along with Clomid, obviously. But I do think the pineapple core had something to do with it. So it would be so interesting if I started eating pineapple and actually like induced myself. That would just mean like pineapple is like the most magical fruit of life. Okay, so I have my crock pot out and this is everything that you're gonna need. It's so easy. So for the veggies, I have one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, and then four jalapenos. Um, I'm going a little bit overboard with the jalapenos because I'm trying to make it extra spicy so I can induce myself. <laughs> but you guys don't need to put four in there. Um, and you can also add onions, mushrooms, whatever else you like. Alex doesn't like onions or mushrooms, so we're just gonna do the basic peppers. And then I'm gonna throw in a can of golden corn. Um, and some low sodium black beans. This is the sauce I'm gonna be using. Frontera Chipotle Tinga Chicken Slow Cook Sauce. And then I just picked up these Chi Chi's Whole Wheat Fajita Style Tortilla Wraps um, because once it's like all cooked, we just roll it up and sprinkle some cheese on it and put some guacamole, which is why I have an avocado. I'm gonna make a little guacamole. You just need some chicken. So this is just 1.45 pounds of chicken. And that is literally it, you guys. It's so easy. told you if I can hit 100k subscribers before the baby comes that I will do a baby mama dance on my channel so right now I am looking up the baby mama dance and just kind of like watching through a few of them and oh my god <laughs> oh first of all I have to like learn the dance because I don't know it and not to mention I am almost 39 weeks pregnant and I'm pretty sure people do this when they're like I don't know maybe like 35 36 weeks so yeah if I do reach 100k though before Quinn is here I'm definitely gonna do it for you guys but I'm like oh god <laughs> you're so cute So you guys know that I got a spray tan last week, but it's kind of fading at this point. So I've been putting this on after my shower every day and I love it. It's the color dark and it's just tinted body lotion. Um, so I just put it literally all over my body after shower and it really works. Like it's making me so tan. I love that it's gradual. My favorite thing I think though is the smell. This smells so freaking good. I can't even explain what it smells like, but it legit smells amazing. And I love the way I smell like the rest of the night after I put it on. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I've been loving it and I think it's perfect um, like in between spray tans. Okay, so I just shredded all the chicken up. This looks and smells amazing, you guys. Um, and I'm watching Tara's new vlog. 
but I just whipped up a little bit of guacamole. Um, I usually mash up an avocado and then just like add some guacamole spice that I get from my giant, but we were completely out of the spice. So I put some random ass shit in here, you guys. I literally put <laughs> salt, cumin, and some garlic powder, and I don't even know how it tastes, but I just figured maybe that would uh, go together, so we'll see. Here is the finished product. Um, I just topped it off with some shredded cheddar cheese, a little bit of guacamole, which I just tried, and it's actually really good, and then a little bit of the Texas Pete hot sauce. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go chow down and chill for the rest of the night. All right, guys, that is it for today's Baby Watch vlog. We will see when little Quentin decides to join us in this world, and I will be posting my I'm in labor video that I prepare for you guys, so just make sure you're subscribed and be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Take me out to California. Take me out to California I feel the day